Hey, what's up, guys? Tomorrow's Channel 4 here, and today we're going to take a look at Transformers Dark of the Moon Leader Class Ironhide. This is the first Leader Class figure that I have picked up, and in my opinion, this is just, you know, the highlight of the Dark of the Moon line so far for me. Um, I did do a review of this guy earlier, um, yeah, a couple of days ago, actually, but, you know, I decided to delete that old review because if you if you actually saw it, it was pretty terrible. So, here we are. I've, got, I've actually got a new camera to do a review on, um, and I decided that I'm going to do another review of Leader Ironhide. So here we are. Anyway, Ironhide is a very, very nice looking truck. Very nice and solid. Um, I don't know why, but mine just doesn't like to tab in there properly, but not really too much of a problem. I just adore this vehicle mode. I think it is just absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, it does have some fairly decent looking paint apps. Um, does have the 4x4 logo just there. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. Um, nice GMC logo on the front. It says Road Armor. Um, these wheels have actually, they, know, they, they are kind of painted, they've been painted a really nice shiny um, black colour in there, so that's really, really nice. Um, it has some very nice um, orange, um, you know, kind of indicators there, nice headlights um, underneath, um, nothing really too special, it's just, you know, you can see a few of his robot parts, but that's really, that's not too bad. Um, nice Autobot symbol, you can see mine's kind of scratched up um, a little bit. Might go over that with a sharpie or something, just you know. Um, but overall, just a fantastic looking vehicle mode. Just stay together really, really nicely. And um, this is definitely the best Ironhide figure that we've gotten. Um, also, some other cool features are if you pull on these exhausts, on the smokestack, sorry, you get these really, really nice mech tech weapons that just slide out. This one obviously is his first movie cannon that he used in the first movie in the um, Revenge of the Fallen. This one is a new cannon, I believe it's just you know, kind of used to. Replace the cannon that he jettisoned in the um, Revenge of the Fallen movie, and you know you just kind of press them back, and they will just spring nicely into place. He does have some nice sound effects on the back. There's a little button here. So you can kind of hear some idling truck noises, which is kind of cool. And um, that is all the sound effects he gets um, in the vehicle. I would have liked it if, you know, when you kind of slide these out, he, get, he has a gun sound effect, but he doesn't. Um, but that is nothing to worry about, really. Rolls fantastically, um, and is overall just a fantastic looking leader class figure. Okay, so before we get into the transformation, I just want to apologise, um, you know, ahead of time, because this figure is kind of big, so if I don't get it all on screen whilst transforming it, um, you know, you know why, it's just, it's kind of a big, um, it's a, it's a large figure, and I don't usually review large figures. So, um, yeah, let's get him transformed. Now, the transformation is fairly simple for a leader class figure, and I love it. Um, I've had this guy since about Saturday, um, today's Wednesday, and I haven't stopped playing with it. Um, I just think it is just such a nice figure. Um, yeah, I think we're going to transform him now. Uh, I'm going to grab this back section, I'm going to fold it out like so, fold down these feet, just like so. Um, then we're going to extend, you know, just split the legs, sorry, rotate them around there, and then come around the front, like so. Um, and there are his legs, and um, that's fairly simple um, to get to. Um, then what we're going to do is we are going to come up here and try and try and get a hold of this piece. Lift that up. Get it out of the way. Um, then what we're going to do? I'm going to take this piece, grab that, extend it up. Um, then I'm going to unpeg these side panels, put them underneath. Unpeg the side panels and put that panel underneath like so. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to come under here and just grab that piece and that will unpeg and that will just unpeg his arm and you can rotate it out. Do the same on the other side, unpeg the arm, rotate it out like so. And then for the arm, it's going to rotate so the screw's facing backwards obviously. And then I'm going to rotate the arm around that way and then we're going to rotate it like that. You know, just so the screws aren't showing. Um, that's This is how I transform it. And then we're going to take this panel, just going to peg it in. Just, just peg in just there. Um, you just kind of have some arm kibble, but that's really nothing too major. Um, just same again, rotate it to this, so the screws aren't showing. Um, I'm going to rotate like so. Rotate it that way, like that. Then just peg the arm kibble in. And there are his arms. That's simple enough to get to. We're going to flip this panel up. Get, just get these out of the way. Um, like that. And 
you know, there we're almost done. We'll just kind of get him stood up for a second. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab these sections here, we're going to unpeg them like that. Just kind of get the arms out of the way. Shouldn't have done that um, first, probably. And um, then we're just going to grab, you know, this section. They will tab into those pieces on the chest. Then we're going to fold the wheel under. Then we can take the arm and it will peg in there like that. And there is an arm like that. Do the same on the other side. Take this, peg it in there. Flip the wheel under and peg that in. And these pieces will just fold down. Like so. And there is arms. And now I'm just going to transform his back kibble. Um, just, you know, kind of get everything in line. Um, there is really no set way to do it. Um, the instructions don't exactly make it clear. But, you know, there we are. There is leader class Einhide in his amazing looking robot mode. Now, when I first got this figure out of the packaging and, you know, just transformed, I was just blown away by how fun this figure is. It is just fantastic. It is the most fun that I have had with a live action movie figure in a long, long time. You know, the paint apps look brilliant. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about this blue, though, that they always use on iron eyed legs. Um, but, you know, the paint apps are brilliant. It's got some nice gold um, around here, um, some nice kind of metallic, um, kind of a greenish blue. Um, not too sure what it is. Um, it has some nice silver paint apps dotted around everywhere. It's got some black um, on, you know, it's mainly black. Um, just very, very cool looking. And the head has been painted exceptionally nicely. I just want to get a quick close up on the head. Sorry if um, the camera is kind of shaking a little bit. Um, but he does have some nice gold paint apps on the head. And also he's got a little lever back here. Press that to reveal some sound effects. Um, and he slides his mask down. Um, yeah, so that is kind of neat. Um, is a nice feature to have. And he's also got some very, very nice um, action features. You can pull down on this. And he's got an awesome looking um, cannon that comes out of his chest there. Um, so that is definitely very cool. He's also got another lever to activate it. Um, push that down. So he has got two um, you know, ways of activating it. So that's pretty cool. And you can also press that. And it'll also bring his mask down and do the same sound effects as I showed earlier. And it'll say his name. So that's fairly cool. He also has the weapons that we use in vehicle mode, you can access them in robot mode. Um, you know, basically do exactly the same thing, you pull on the smokestacks and he has got the, you know, amazing looking weapons. Um, you know, in my opinion this one is a little bit too puny, I would have made it a little bit bigger. But, um, you know, he does have a lot more weapons than that. What's kind of cool is you can open this up and he's got a combat knife. Um, which is very, very nicely detailed actually. Very nice silver. Um, and some gold, um, and it does fit nicely into his hand. So that's kind of neat, you can kind of do some kind of assassinations or stealth kills or whatever. Um, I believe some marines use them, um, those sort of knives. Also on this other one, he does have kind of a rocket launcher. Um, it does fire a missile, but I'm not going to get it out because it is a bitch to get back in. Um, and it is it doesn't really go into his hand very well actually. Um, so that, that one kind of sucks, um, but it is nice that they did it you know, it's nice they bothered to include it. Um, yeah, just put that back in. Just for a quick size comparison, here he is next to Reveal the Shield Lugnut. Um, he's the only figure that I've got on hand at the moment. Um, so you can see that obviously Iron Eyed is way bigger. He's a leader class, Lugnut's a Voyager. Um, Iron Eyed is just, you know, the traditional leader class size. It's the only, um, you know, class in the Dark of the Moonland that hasn't been shrunk down, which I, you know, I do like that because I really don't like small figures. Um, I like, you know, much bigger figures like leader classes. It's just a shame that they don't release a lot of them. Um, but, you know, Ironhide is just one hell of a figure. Overall, I think this is just absolutely fantastic. You're a dumbass not to get it. Um, if you want to get one leader class, in my opinion, make it Ironhide. Ironhide is just a wonderful figure. You'll get hours of enjoyment out of him. He is just a very, very well-designed looking figure. Um, yeah, anyway, that was my review. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys later.